Hi there, my name is Kenzie. I'm offering you a restorative yoga practice here at the Everyday Counts program. As you can tell, I have some props. Um, these are kind of the bare minimum just to make this uh, a really comfortable practice, which is the hope. So I've got two thick bed pillows. Actually, I've got two thin bed pillows inside a pillowcase. Um, just to make them extra firm, but whatever you've got, these could be couch cushions, they could be rolled up sleeping bags, they could be actual yoga bolsters if you have them. And I've got two folded blankets. Um, this could be any weight blanket that's easy for you to work with, but perhaps having two of them is helpful. Any extra pillows, um, anything at all. You'll notice I've also laid down a blanket here on my yoga mat just to make the floor a little more comfortable. Uh, so, We'll begin by making ourselves as comfortable as possible. And oh, what you'll notice is I'm wearing a sweater and socks because this does not, this is a practice that doesn't create heat. So uh, we want to be really comfortable. We wanna be warm enough, we wanna be cozy enough and have lots of soft support beneath us. So our first practice will be in a reclined position. Um, you could stack your pillows to place under your knees. This could be one pillow or both. Uh, depending on how much support you need under your head. So I've just got a blanket under my head, but you might want that pillow under your head. And then to get your legs over those pillows, there's a few options. So you could be kind of on your side, slowly lowering down. And then you could hoist those legs over. And that might be, that might be the right way to get there for you, or it might be something different. Lie down first on your back, and then get those legs over. Um, you know, if you've got short legs like me, your heels might be a little bit elevated and that's okay. If you prefer less support, remove a pillow. If you need more support under your head, you know, a second blanket or another pillow. You could have the other blanket over your body for warmth or even just for comfort. And just any part of the body that just needs a little extra connection there. Maybe the palms are facing up or in or down, maybe they're resting against the belly. And as you practice restorative, um, you actually get better at becoming comfortable, at sort of knowing what brings you comfort in these different shapes, these different postures. So once you are comfortable, perhaps close your eyes. Perhaps begin to breathe through your nose if you can. We will allow ourselves a few moments to simply arrive here in the present. And sometimes what helps is to feel into the presence of your own body. So you might notice all those points of contact where your body touches down. Maybe feeling that support at the back of the legs. Notice where your buttocks and your back touch down. Your arms, your hands. Notice where the back of your head touches down. And just tuning into that feeling of soft support beneath you. And maybe with the next few exhales, simply sinking a little bit more into this soft support. Noticing how as we exhale, we really can begin to soften and settle. So let's tune into the breath a little bit more. Maybe with each inhale, we feel the belly rise. 
with each exhale, we feel the belly fall. We're inviting that inhale, soft and deep. Allowing the exhale to roll out soft and slow. No effort here, just a simple allowing. Allow the inhale to deepen. Allow the exhale to lengthen as effortlessly as possible. Once more, let's notice where the body touches down. If the feet touch down, notice. Maybe the next few exhales, we let those feet soften and settle a little bit more. Again, notice where the backs of the legs touch down, fully supported. The next few exhales, feel the legs softening and settling. Noticing now where your buttocks and parts of your back touch down. Each exhale, letting the whole torso soften and settle earthward. Noticing now where the arms and hands touch down. Each exhale, the arms and hands softening, letting go. Noticing where the back of your head touches down. Each exhale, the whole head and neck soften and settle. If it suits you, bringing a hand to rest towards your belly and one towards your chest. Feeling the weight and the warmth 
of your own giving hands. And offer yourself some sweetness, a kind word, a prayer, an affirmation just for you. slowly releasing those hands, maybe wiggling the fingers or toes, or not. If you feel a deep need to stay right where you are, please feel free to do so for as long as you are comfortable. If you are ready to move on to a little bit of movement before the next pose, again, it could be the fingers or toes, the wrists or ankles. Maybe a slow turn of your head. Oh, there might be a yawn or a stretch. And sometimes it's nice to wrap your arms around yourself, give yourself a hug. Maybe you bend your knees. Maybe you wrap your arms around your legs or hands towards the shins. And just letting the weight of the arms draw those knees in for a couple breaths. And from here, we could roll a bit from side to side. We could circle the knees together a little bit, and just tiny circles here, inviting a little bit of movement through the pelvis and around the sacrum. Just that spot where the spine meets the back of the pelvis. We could change the direction of that circle. Your eyes can remain closed if you choose. Just tuning into the breath here. And then we'll meet back at center, perhaps rolling all the way to one side, and supporting your head on that pillow or your arm. And then finding your top hand, you could press it into the floor in front of you to help guide you upright. Yeah. So we will move on to our next pose. And this will be a supported uh, side bending pose. So I'll show you how it's set up and if you know where you want to go with it right away or maybe after you watch these suggestions, you're welcome to. You can press pause so you've got all the freedom. So as you can see, I am going to stack one or maybe two of those folded blankets on top of each other at the top of the mat. Then I'm going to stack my pillows kind of a third of the way down. So there's this lovely little valley, little space between where these pillows end and the blankets begin. Um, from here, I'm gonna lean into these pillows so I can bend my knees off to the other end of my mat and slowly kind of wedging these pillows up against my waist, I'm gonna drape my body over the pillow, seeing if I can bring my shoulder into that space. Now for me, I'm realizing two pillows are too many, so I'm gonna remove one of them. If it was thinner pillows, it would be fine. And I'm gonna place them between my knees because I know I like a pillow there. And again, I'm gonna drape my body over this pillow, and then the shoulder can fit into this little valley as I bring those blankets closer, I've got a nice support happening under my head. 
So if this feels like no side bend at all, again, we could put another pillow there, or if the pillow's too thick, I could place the blanket. We'll see how that feels today. Yeah, that, that works, except now I need to fold the blanket more. So, you know, restorative is like this. Sometimes we have to make quite a few adjustments to find comfort, and it will be different for all of us, partly because we have different props and because we have different bodies. Um, especially if you need to adjust breast tissue um, or shift, you know, maybe I need to make a little space for the side breast. So I've got more blanket by the lower waist, but I've got that little extra space there. So again, we really need to meet ourselves where we're at here as we lower down. Yeah. And so once you're comfortable, um, you'll know it, you'll be comfortable. So, you know, if you need more support under the bottom hip, if you need less of this under the side body, we're looking for fairly stacked hips, stacked shoulders. So it's tempting to roll forward or back, but we're really focusing on opening the side body here. Yeah. Um, so again, press pause if you need to grab more things to find comfort here. If you are comfortable, maybe you want to reach that top arm to the ceiling. And I love this feeling of just letting like, the weight of the arm kind of drop into the shoulder joint here. So maybe invite just a little bit of movement, a little circular movement here. Maybe not. In our restorative practice, we're exploring those places of openness before stretch or even sort of engagement before kind of feeling that kind of intense muscle engagement just that sense of kind of awakening without without engaging too much yeah and so from here we can kind of play a bit with the arm placement so we could kind of stay nice and mellow and rest the arm along the side body we could rest it on that little bit of pillow or blanket in front of us or on the floor. Some people like to tuck the arm behind. And some folks like to reach the arm overhead. This really depends on your own kind of mobility and comfort here. We're looking for openness before stretch. So a lot of people, this will be too stretchy, but if it's not, it is a way to find openness for some folks. If at any point your pose becomes too stretchy, because this could change over time, we could come back to a mellower version. Yeah. Uh, so now we can close our eyes, and often as you close your eyes, you will notice even better, um, or even more clearly, whether you're comfortable. Yeah. We can make a few more adjustments, as many as it takes. And again, once you are comfortable, closing your eyes and breathing through your nose if you can. We'll begin to tune in to the expansion of the abdomen with the inhale. Not drawing back in with the exhale, which might feel a bit different here as we have the lower um, side belly and waist um, compressed a bit. We're going to start inviting that inhale to expand into the top side of the belly and waist, maybe even a bit into the low back on that top side. So let's offer a few breaths here and notice if we can invite the breath into that top side of the body that's kind of towards the ceiling. Inhaling soft and deep. Exhaling softer and slower. And 
And again, I'd like to focus on what I call the gift of gravity. Or this feeling of stillness and connection where the body touches down. so that we can trust that we won't float away, allowing ourselves to be held and supported, even as we use the breath to nourish the nervous system, nudging us towards deeper states of relaxation. So let's once more notice parts of the body supported by the floor. You can start with the head. Notice where the side of the head, maybe the neck, feels supported. And the next few exhales, we're letting the head and neck let go just a bit more as if they could sink a little more into the soft support beneath them. We're still expanding into that top side of the waist and belly. Exhale, letting the head and neck soften and settle. Let's notice where that bottom arm makes contact with the floor. With each exhale, can we let that arm soften and settle? Perhaps we can even locate the top arm and let that arm join in. Join in to the softening and settling with each exhale. Let's bring awareness to the side of the body of the torso that's supported. So that's those bottom side ribs, bottom side waist and hip. And breathing into the top side and expanding. We're sinking into that bottom side, softening, settling with each exhale. Now moving on to the legs, can you notice where that bottom leg touches down, the outside of the bottom leg, fully supported? Maybe you even feel the support on the inside of the top leg resting against a pillow or the floor or the other leg. And just tuning in to that felt sense of support. Breathing into the top side, softening into the bottom side of the leg.
Letting go. I'm bringing awareness to the entire bottom side of the body that's feeling supported. And let's offer five or six more breaths to the pose. Each inhale moves into the top side, ribs and belly and waist. Exhaling, the whole body can soften and settle earthward. A few more breaths here. Each exhale a little longer than the last. As you complete those breaths, you can ask yourself if you're ready to move. And if you're not, please feel free to stay here for as long as you're comfortable. If you are ready to move into this pose on the other side, you might locate that top arm. You might press it into the floor or the little bit of pillow in front of you. Just slowly... Come upright. It might be as simple as turning yourself around and lowering yourself onto the support um, from the other side. Or if you're like me and want to keep facing the computer screen, you can set this up on your other side. So, got that pillow. We've got a little valley here for the shoulder. This, you might have the same setup as the other side, but you also might find you have different needs. So I'm gonna assume I don't, but then I'm ready to readjust once I'm in the pose. So I'm leaning into this pillow um, so I can bring my legs to the other side of my mat. Notice they don't have to be perfectly stacked, but they might wanna be. We might place a pillow between the knees, we might not. Um, and I've got that blanket on top of the pillow, so I have a little more side bend, but that might be too much, or you might require both pillows. So I'm lowering myself down, bringing the shoulder into that valley, and noticing if I need more support under the head, which I do. This can be an opportunity to open through the side of the neck, but again, we wanna be in that place of openness before stretch. So I have a little arc here, but it's not feeling stretchy, it's just feeling open. And same with the side body. We're feeling that openness along the top side. We're adjusting breast tissue, seeing that the shoulders are stacked. So we haven't rolled way back or way forward because we do wanna focus on the gentle opening of the side. Same with the hips, trying to kind of find that middle place. Yeah, you can always bend the bottom arm if you need to. You can even bring it under the hand if, or under the head if that feels better. You know, there might be um, suggestions I haven't made that you will find will help you uh, be comfortable here. Yeah. And again, you might close your eyes just to drop in and reassess that comfort level, continue to adjust. You might want to reach the top arm up and just allow the weight of the arm to drop into the shoulder joint. You might invite a little bit of movement here. 
as effortless as possible as we explore a little bit of range. Really inviting the shoulder to soften and settle. Maybe changing direction. And then perhaps you know where that arm wants to go. Maybe you want to explore all of the options. It might be behind, it might be resting along your side or in front. And again, just depending on your own mobility here, it might be overhead. But if that feels too stretchy at any point, you can change and find a more comfortable place where comfort matters most. Again, closing your eyes, settling in. And starting to feel the natural, relaxed rhythm of your breath. Knowing there's some compression at the bottom side. So we're going to start inviting the breath into the top side of the waist, that top side of the belly, and even to the low back. Again, just inviting the breath to deepen, to land deep, and then to roll out soft. And when we simply let the exhale go without pushing, without drawing the belly in, we just kind of let it roll out, it tends to be pretty slow. We invite that inhale deep. That exhale, slow. And again, we'll begin to use the gift of gravity, this stillness, this connection and support to deepen our relaxation. And so again, notice the side of your head fully supported. Each exhale, letting your head and neck sink and settle. A few more breaths like this. We inhale, we feel the expansion into the top side of the abdomen. Exhale, we feel the head and neck letting go a little more. Let's now bring our awareness to the bottom arm and notice where it's touching down. You may be feeling the top arm touching down fully supported as well. Each inhale, we invite that expansion into the side of the abdomen. Each exhale, letting both arms soften and settle. Letting go. We're moving on, let's notice where the bottom side of the torso rests against that pillow. Yes, bottom side of the ribs, the waist, the hip, settling and softening with each exhale. Feeling that expansion into the top side of the waist and belly and back. Even a little into those side ribs as you inhale.
And moving on to the legs. Noticing where the outside of that bottom leg and foot touch down. Fully supported. Maybe notice where the inside of that top leg and foot touch down. Fully supported. Each inhale, we continue to feel the expansion into the top side of the torso. Each exhale, both legs and feet softening and settling. As if they could sink right into the floor. As we offer five or six more breaths to this pose, can we allow the whole bottom side of the body to sink with each exhale? Allowing each exhale to be a little longer than the last. As you complete those breaths, and just notice if you wish to remain right where you are. And if so, please feel free to do so for as long as you are comfortable. You might want to reach that top arm back up to the ceiling and just notice how that feels. You might bring the hand to the floor, to the pillow in front to slowly guide your way upright. Uh, here we are. So again, I'd like to invite a little bit of movement. It's completely optional. So moving some of your props out of the way. Lean into the hands or the forearms or even lean into a pillow. Take the feet wide. We'll rock the knees from side to side a few times if you so choose. Uh, we could add a little twist as the knees fall to the right. We could sweep that left arm around. Why not? Maybe the other side, if the knees fall left, we'll sweep the right arm around. And back. If this feels comfortable, you could try it again either side. Again, comfort. We're seeking comfort. Final piece here, if you so choose. We could walk our feet about hip distance apart. 
We could bring our hands to the floor, uh, probably fingertips pointing towards the buttocks, but maybe slightly out. That could be comfortable, even wider hands. This is a bit like cat-cow. We're gonna lift the heart, gentle arch to the spine. And we're gonna drop the chin to the chest, a little bit of grounding. And this can be as little or as much movement as you want. We'll do a few more, maybe closing your eyes, just feeling into it. You know, this could be strong on the hands. You could be on forearms here, could be pushing the floor away, even on fists. As we go through this once more in either direction. And slowly coming upright, maybe shaking out those hands. So this will be a seated pose where we're going to round forward a bit, but very supported. Um, so I'm going to encourage you to sit on one of those blankets, maybe two. And the reason we're doing this is it um, gives us a little elevation here so that we can really sit upright um, on our sitting bones, as opposed to rounding back a little bit. We want to think about beginning this pose in an upright posture. So if you're finding you're still rounding a bit, you could put another pillow under your hips here. From here, I'd like to place one of these pillows under the knees, maybe even sort of standing somewhat on its side. So you'll notice I'm still sitting upright and I've got one pillow under my knees. So a nice bend here. And when we bend our knees, uh, we give the hamstrings some slack so that we're actually able to tilt forward a little bit, maybe not very much, but we can at least remain upright on the pelvis, on the sitting bones. From here, I'm placing my second pillow between my belly and chest so that I can lean forward on it, um, but I might still need more support. So I'm now wedging that in close. Maybe I want even more support between the chest and the pillow and then crossing the forearms, I might be able to rest the forehead. If I can't, that's okay, um, but we might want to build up the forearms instead to bring the four forearms closer to the forehead here. Yeah, so I know this pose might not be for everyone. You could even have a chair here kind of over the legs to rest a little bit higher or a second pillow on top of this one so you're not rounded as far forward. Again, we just want to prevent that leaning back through the pelvis because we really want to think about sitting upright and then melting forward. Making sure there's space here for breathing, that you're not pushing that pillow or blanket into the face here, stacking those forearms. And beginning to kind of slump forward. Again, if it feels like too much, we come back up, right? We support ourselves a bit more so that we're not as far forward. And now we'll notice there's this invitation um, to invite the breath into the back body. There might be some compression of the abdomen here. So as you close your eyes and settle in, can you imagine inviting the breath into the side waist and into the low back? So play with that for a bit. Is there some movement of the breath there? Each exhale, we're softening and settling a little further forward. Inhale, expanding into the back, expanding into the waist. Exhaling, settling forward.
So I'd like to keep this relaxation fairly simple, um, but also help to focus the mind a bit here in the present moment. So as we inhale into the back, into the leg, perhaps we invite a count of one, two, and as we exhale, letting the upper body drape over the lower body, that could be the count of one, two, three. So we're inhaling for two and exhaling for three. But the rate of the counting is up to you. Obviously, everyone's inhale will be a little bit different. The length of everyone's exhale, a little bit different, but the idea is to extend the exhale and to really stay with the breath by offering that count. Let's offer five or six more breaths to this pose. Each exhale a little longer than the last. As you complete those breaths, just notice if you want to stay here a little longer and please feel free to do so for as long as you are comfortable. If you're ready to move on to the final pose, let's go nice and slow. Just bring those hands under you. Slowly lift back up to that upright spine. Uh, so our final pose is very much like the first one. In fact, it could be identical. Um, I'm going to offer one suggestion of variation, depending on if you have access to both pillows. I'm going to use my blanket as a pillow. I'm going to move off the blanket that I'm sitting on currently. And before I lay down, what I'm going to try to do is place a pillow under one knee and a pillow under the other knee. Yeah. And then my legs are a little wider, as you'll notice. I'm going to lower down with control. And just notice how it feels to have these wide legs with knees bent. If this does not serve you, um, please feel free to just come back to both knees together. You could even bring both feet together if you wanted and just let those knees feel like they're rolling out to the side. 
And maybe you still have that second blanket for a little bit of grounding, a little bit of comfort or nurture or warmth. And so again, making any adjustments, especially once the eyes are closed, that's a great way to notice if you're comfortable. And tuning into your breath. Tuning in to the gift of gravity. And that feeling of support, of being held, received. So that you may let go. Imagine that the breath has an invitation for you. Each inhale is inviting you to reach your awareness out to your toe tips, your fingertips, the crown of the head, and everywhere in between. Each exhale invites your whole body to soften and settle earthward. Inhale, your awareness reaches out to your very edges, your borders between the inside and the outside. Exhale, the whole body sinks and settles, fully supported and held. So as we rest here for a few more minutes, allow each breath to invite you to expand your awareness and to deepen your surrender to gravity. Inhaling, expanding awareness to your toe tips, your fingertips, the crown of your head. Exhaling your whole body, letting go.
it's okay if your mind wanders. Perhaps come back to the invitation of the breath. Inhaling, reach your awareness out to the very edges of your body. Exhaling, let your whole body sink. You are held and supported. Let's offer five or six more breaths to this pose. Each exhale a little longer than the last. If you feel a deep need to remain right where you are for a little while longer, please feel free to do so for as long as you are comfortable. If it suits you, perhaps rest a hand to the belly and a hand to the chest. And offer yourself some sweetness, a kind word, a prayer, an affirmation just for you. So this is where I will leave you when you are ready to move on with your day. You know, maybe wiggle the fingers or toes, turn your head, stretch and yawn and move freely. And then eventually, when you're ready, you could roll onto your side, take a few breaths here, and then maybe make your way upright. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you have any questions or concerns, always feel free to reach out to us at the Everyday Counts program. I hope to see you soon. Bye for now.